your question is which of the following are null set first we will understand what is a null set null set null set means it's an empty set that means without any element in the set without element in set now we can say null set is a empty set empty set or we can say it's a void set they are the null sets how they can be denoted they can be denoted just like make the two middle brackets this is your null set or you can give a symbol as c or you can say c if you see this you should know this is a null set that means without any element now so just we will go one by one what they have given set of odd numbers divisible by 2 odd numbers divisible by 2 we know that odd numbers are 1 comma 3 comma 5 comma 7 comma dash 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 that means they are not the multiples of 2 so we can say this is your set of all divisible by 2 that means this is your null set so simply we will write here this is your null set second question set of even prime numbers we know that 2 is a even prime number so simply we will write like this 2 here element is 1 therefore we will say it single turn set single turn set so it contains a single element Therefore, it's not a null set. It's not a null set. It contains some element. Next. The set of all x, x is a natural number. x is a natural number. They have given x is less than 5. So, natural number starts with 1, 1, 2, 3 and 4 less than 5 that means 1 2 3 4 and here they have given you x is greater than 7 that means it will start with 8 9 10 and so what they have given you they have given you and that means if you choose any one of these numbers it should be on both you can see here 4 is here 4 is in the left side, but 4 is not in the right side. That means any number, you can choose any number which is in both sides. <coughs> it should follow both rules. It should be less than 5 also, it should be greater than 7 also. Both. So, we don't find any such type of numbers. Therefore, we can say it's a null set or void set. Next question. Y, the set of all Y, all elements of Y such that Y is a point common to any two parallel lines. So, suppose we have made two parallel lines like this. Take any point. Take any point on this. Suppose we have taken a point here. So is it common to both parallel lines? No. It is in only on the one line. Therefore we can say it's a null set. Next question. 